Okay, hello. And where is the Discord? Okay. Can you the Discord? Can you guys say something? Discord. Hello? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> what the heck happened? We're back. <laughs> We We're just back. got hacked by Rene. We got hacked by Rene. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's uh, let's uh let's get the music back up. Huh? You get yeah. Okay, so are we talking about the Philippines? Sorry, <laughs> cutting you <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I mean, so well, I mean, what do you guys? Uh, what would you like to know about the Philippines? Uh, what kind of food you got? Oh, there you go. Ooh, That's a good one. Don't get me started one. with food. <laughs> don't get me started with food. <laughs> is, it, is it good? I, it's oh, good. I'm sure it's good. It's I good. I love Filipino food. food. It's like, uh, <laughs> actually, I gotta thank, I gotta thank the different um countries that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, most of our foods are you know, mostly like fusion from Chinese, from mm -hmm. America, from. Actually, we do we do have some fusion from Japan as well, so yeah, and also Spanish. So yeah, most of our foods, um, most of our foods are kind of like similar to the mm -hmm. Spanish culture because of. Wait, <laughs> I was about to say how many years did the Spanish um took over us, and then I mm -hmm. forgot how many years I <laughs> I feel like I failed my history class. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, there's this one, there's this one specific food that I'd like to share in this um, podcast mm -hmm. <laughs> because of how, because of how bad it could be misunderstood, and it's what called food? puto. Puto. Oh, that's a <laughs> bad word you, in Spanish. Did you just swear at me? <laughs> no. That's a this bad is word exactly in Spanish. Why I wanted to share about the puto. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, here here in the Philippines, um, mm -hmm. puto is a rice cake, and it's usually Ooh. um it's usually um eaten with cheese, but you can also eat it plain. Yeah, that's basically uh yeah, it's just a, it's just a rice cake. That's <laughs> there's nothing really special about it, but you can mix and match different flavors. And I mean, as far <laughs> as I'm aware, there's like a there's like a an ube puto, mm -hmm. which is uh, yeah. <laughs> And sometimes people also eat it with salted egg. Oh, so, that's good. Uh, there's nothing really special about it, but I wanted to share it because you know how. <laughs> I mean, if it's yummy, <laughs> it is actually yummy. It's actually yeah, so. in its own, uh, in my opinion. I, or maybe it depends on how how someone cooked it. You know. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it can be sweet uh, on on its own. That and sounds really good. Puto. Puto is just <laughs> because I do remember like there's this uh, video I saw and I yeah, think just the don't Filipino. Don't say that Filipino. word in in like the <laughs> California ghettos in LA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you say, homie? <laughs> it's puto. It's a rice cake. <laughs> Said, would you like a puto, you puto? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that. Would you like a puto, you puto? Like, but, what are you talking to? Like a puto or a puto? <laughs> <laughs> you just call me puto. <laughs> <laughs> What's pico? Pico. Yes. What's pico? A pico. Pico. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, it's also another type of rice cake. There's a mm -hmm. lot of rice cakes here in the Philippines. There's oh. like Biko, there's like Sapin Sapin, Sinok Mani, um, and they're all rice cakes. <laughs> and I can I honestly can't tell, uh, I, can, I can't, I'm not sure if I can tell you guys the difference, mm -hmm. but the, th the, the thing that I mentioned earlier called Sapin Sapin, it's mm -hmm. called Sapin Sapin because, um, uh, Sapin is actually like a Filipino term for like layers, I think, mm -hmm. layers. And it's actually three different kinds of rice cakes uh, on, like, you know, on layered together. I see. So like mm -hmm. one one slice would you you would get like three different kinds of rice cake. 
And as far as I'm aware, like the the one one part of that rice cake is like ube. Ah. It's like ube. There's like a white stuff. There's like an orange stuff. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you uh, tell the the chat uh, and everyone what ube is? Uh, ube is purple yam, and it's purple actually. Yam. I'm not sure if it's like you know it, it can only only be found here in the Philippines, but as far as I'm aware, it is only from the Philippines. Mm. So I, um, That's why most... Ubebe Chan is Ubebe Chan. Yes, because yes. of Ube. Ube. Oh my gosh, that's so that's such a big brain moment. The connections have been made. The connections. <laughs> uh, Americans uh, know know us for like you know the Ube roll cakes. Ah, yes. So like ah. yeah, it's like I think it's exclusively Filipino. And ice cream, Ube. Ube ice cream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even though I'm Filipino, I'm not really a big fan of Ube. <laughs> Yeah, I like ube. It's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet, and actually, there's like a place here in the Philippines called mm-hmm. um, Baguio, Baguio City, mm-hmm. and they they sell lots of like ube jam, where you can spread oh. it on your bread, on your panda sauce, panda sauce, <laughs> <laughs> panda yeah. sauce, the panda sauce. The panda sauce. <laughs> it, it sounds like you're saying panda sauce. sauce. Like panda sauce. sauce. Sauce is like in German salt. Like panda sauce. Oh, panda sauce. sauce. Actually, that's the, uh, that's the, the, pa- third, the pan that's... is actually might be familiar in German. It's actually, pa- pan the is bread, why, right? Yeah, like the reason why it's called in Portuguese panda it sauce, it's because mm. it actually has salt in it too. Oh. So yeah, it's salted bread. bread Bre- salted bread. Salted yeah. Bread. <laughs> salted bread. Okay. Here in Japan, um, bread is actually called pan. Mm. Pan. But that's like French. That's not German. Uh, uh, if you say yeah, pan. I see. Yeah. They got it from the Portuguese or something. Pan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pan de sal with liver spread. But uh, speaking of like Filipino food, um. When it comes to like my favorite, mm-hmm. oh god, why did we, why did we even talk about favorite now? I can't. Sisig. I can't choose. I can't choose. <laughs> you gotta what, choose what, something. What's sisig? What's no. sisig? Oh no, no. She said, AC <laughs> says you love sisig. AC and Vinzo, no. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, sisig is a dish here in the Philippines, and it's I'm not sure where it's made of. Like, well, mm-hmm. which part of the pig or the pork? Pig oh, yeah. cheeks, cheeks and ears. I think. Yeah. Which what kind of cheeks? Hmm? Cheeks of the pig. What kind of cheeks? The face like cheeks. The face, or the, butt? the face. Oh, cheeks. like the face, the face, the face. Ah. The so, tender yeah. it's, part. It's actually a dish here, and it's actually good with uh, beer. But the thing is, it's one of the uh, <laughs> it's one of the food that I don't like eating. And a lot of my Filipino, my Filipino community members are triggered by it because sisig is so good. And like for them, for them, like it's one of the viral foods here in the Philippines, and I don't mm-hmm. like it because of the because it's way too oily for me. Yeah, I had it once. It's really oily, but it's really good mm-hmm. on rice. Put yeah, it on rice. Although I don't like it, but I do eat it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. For my si, favorite, si. I think we're gonna go with um, kare kare. Kare kare. Oh, that's a good one. Can you explain that? What's kare kare to all our okay, non-Filipino so, friends? Okay, so kare kare is like a beef stew with peanut sauce, and you usually eat it with uh, shrimp paste. Mm-hmm. But some people prefer not to have it with shrimp paste because they want to, you know, taste how taste the creaminess of the peanut from the yeah. grated uh, roasted peanuts. And some mm-hmm. places not just beef. Some people cook it with seafood, with uh, oh. pork. If they don't have, you know, if they don't have enough uh, funds to actually buy beef, because beef is actually pretty expensive here in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah nice. That's, that sounds really good. And it's 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 uh, it also has lots of veggies as well. That's why I like it. Yeah. Seed says That's he's nice. hungry. <laughs> yeah, now I'm hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> hungry. Talk about food. Nice. Uh, so like if if there's like a someone from not not in the Philippines or you know mm-hmm. not Pinoy and wanted to try 
Filipino dishes. I mean, uh-huh. yeah, you sh- sure you could go for adobo, but it's way too basic in my opinion. Oh yeah. You should you should try to explore the other foods as well, uh, like kare kare or maybe yeah, you can explore sisig as well. Yeah, adobo's mainstream. Mm, adobo's <laughs> kind of mainstream, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's adobo good. in like Mexican food too, and um, oh really? Yeah, and um, I think there's a Spanish version of adobo. Hmm? I think there might be Spanish oh. adobo. <laughs> Espanol adobo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Freya says, "Let's go back to the roots. We should eat fried bugs. Oh, fried bugs. No. I've actually had." I've actually had crickets before, like... Isn't that, like, uh, common in really? Thailand or Vietnam? I don't know, I got it from a theme park. It, it comes oh. in a little box, and it has different what? flavors. And uh, the one I got was, like, spicy chili flavor, and it's pretty good. It's it, it, The bugs themselves don't taste like anything, it's just they mostly taste the flavoring, and they're crispy. So... It's like, uh, it's like, uh, what they call this? Chips, like? Yeah, it's like chips. I don't know I if they, they only put crickets. the skins or something, because there's like nothing inside the crickets. It's kind of hollow, and then you just crunch them, and it's pretty Maybe good. Hey. It's just melt. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> and I, I've also had. Um, I, they sell this in America. They have like a scorpion, and they put it in a like a lollipop. Wait, isn't aren't scorpions dangerous? I don't know. He put it in a lollipop. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I don't care. He j- I just want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, they're probably dangerous, but it's dead now, so. <laughs> uh, technically. Yeah. Have you ever eaten bugs? Um, no. Accidentally, no. when you open Although your mouth while biking. Actually, I actually want to try probably. The crickets. Crickets? Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Are... You guys want to try them? Mm, yeah. I'm not sure. If you think about it, like. It should taste like crabs, because like crabs are kind of related to bugs, right? Are they? Is it yeah, shrimp? They're, 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 they belong to the Ar- Anthropoda family or something. <laughs> should be very similar, right? Well, as far as I know, like shrimps are the uh, cockroaches mm-hmm. of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. What, what's, what's the food that you don't like eating? For me, it's ketchup and mayonnaise. Oh. I don't, I don't like those two condiments. <laughs> like mixed together or like ketchup even separate? Like, I don't know. Like if I could choose, like I could eat it. I, like Japanese mayonnaise is great. I'd probably eat Japanese mayonnaise. But regular mayonnaise and reg- and ketchup, uh, I try not to eat it. Like, <laughs> so let's say somebody ordered too much fries. And they're like, oh, Rocky, I can't finish this. But then they, they like squirt the ketchup all over it. I'm like, mm, no, I can't eat that anymore. No, that's <laughs> too much. I get that. I love mayonnaise and ketchup, but uh-huh. it's too much. Yeah. Like, freaking too much. Like, it fills up the whole plate. There's more mayonnaise mm-hmm. mayonnaise in there yeah. than fries. And that's not, that's not yeah. that yummy. I have this I friend know. who, like, orders too much fries most of the time. And he like he likes to slather it with like the ketchup, like he like a string version. Like he gets he cuts the corner of the ketchup and he like um what's it he squirts it in like little zigzags. Like <laughs> and then he's like surprise, surprise, he can't finish the fries. Like Rocky, you wanna eat this? I'm like, no. No. <laughs> Throw it away. I feel like you guys are gonna get triggered by little Renoir. Mm. Okay. Because like when I was a kid, I mean I think it's common for kids to be, you know, picky eaters. Uh-huh. And whenever I don't like the side dish or ulam in yeah. Filipino that's co- uh, that was cooked by my mom, I I would grab the ketchup bottle and mix it with my rice, and that's what that would, that oh. would be my meal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I did that too. I did, you that, did too. that too. Oh no! <laughs> oh. As a kid, it's different. As a kid, it's different. Don't judge us. Actually, yeah, it's like, I think there was this time that I was feeling way too lazy to cook and I was alone at our house. Uh, yeah. So like, I do remember doing the ketchup and rice combo as a kid and, I le- and, then, and then I tried it as an adult and I feel like, why did I eat this as a kid? Why do I like this as a kid? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a poor college kid life hack. 
So what we got in the fridge, huh? We got ketchup. We got some rice. <laughs> we gotta save money for those textbooks. <laughs> I mean, you're broke, so what you gonna do? <laughs> ketchup and rice. Ketchup and rice. Oh. <laughs> That sounds oh so my bad. God. Oh, it does sound so bad. But did you? I mean, here you... in Germany, like mm -hmm. rice isn't that eaten a lot. Uh huh. Um. So they we they mostly eat not not me because I love rice. Like mm -hmm. I eat rice to freaking everything, but they mostly eat like noodles. Oh, and yeah. then it's the, like oh. noodles and ketchup. I think that's oh. more reasonable. That's okay. It's still bad oh. though. I mean, that's more reasonable than rice. The Italians just left and jumped up. <laughs> True though. <laughs> oh, some people. Oh, I can't. Some people eat uh -huh. like noodles with hot m milk. Like they mm -hmm. just put milk Ooh. in there and then put it in the microwave and then it's like hot milk hot with milk? noodles and that's it. I can see that. Milk is creamy. You can see that. I can what? see that. I mean, like people, like, people do soup. like. People do carbonara with just like um, raw eggs, right? Yeah, raw eggs. And then, but isn't carbonara like more um, creamy? Yeah, it's yeah, more creamy, it, right? It, it uh, what makes it creamy is the cheese. I yeah, don't know why Filipinos started putting cream on it. <laughs> I can see no milk. It's okay. I don't judge that. Hold on. Co mm, Zid, Zid, uh, uh. Don't mind me who put coffee in rice. Coffee what? in you rice. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's actually oh. common here in the Philippines. Coffee, coffee and, rice. and rice and then dried fish. What, what is what? this? No, no, no. He what? puts coffee in the rice. He puts <laughs> coffee in the rice and in, then like not separately. Dri uh, dried fish. Dried fish. Dried fish. Dried fish. So this is all what together kind of? in one package. What kind of pregnant woman's dream is that? What is <laughs> pregnant that? Pregnant woman's dream? It's actually, it's actually a common uh, breakfast there in the Philippines. Is it? Yes. Every, everyone's defending it. Everyone's like, yo, hear us out. It tastes good. Hear us out. So, fish, coffee, and rice. I don't know. Uh, you don't you know, had uh, me at the coffee rice. I'm like, okay, that's that might be good. But then you add oh, like, the, the dried sure. fish to it. I'm not too sure about uh, IEC and was it Zid? Because mm -hmm. like Zid? Uh, I'm not sure if their coffee is like sweet with cream and all. But if uh -huh. I'm gonna do that, I prefer the black coffee. The black rice, coffee. And then really? the dried fish. Yeah. A oh, dried fish. Wow. Because there there are sweet rice dishes, right? Like I, yeah. I'm okay with like uh, the coffee and rice. Like that doesn't bother me. Then you eat it with Hit something you. salty. Like what? what are you doing? You're going way too far. It's flavors. It's the flavors. <laughs> flavors. <laughs> Man, Japan doesn't know flavors sometimes. Like they don't they don't they don't like spicy here. You try to get anything spicy, like it's not spicy enough most of the time. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. The only thing that I um that like I eat as Rice isn't like a sweet type of stuff. Mm -hmm. There's something called um, a Turkish dish called sütlaç. 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 I'm write it. I will write it. Sütlaç. 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 Oh, the spelling doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. It does not help. Why is the you got a smiley face? It's like hey, it's hey, hey. You. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that. You do. We don't have that in English. I don't. <laughs> no, you don't have that. I forgot. The, the the U has like a little like eyes. Like hey. <laughs> so, mm, not souflat. Souflat. Get out. Souflat. <laughs> What's souflat? Souflat. 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 No, it's shit. Let's shoot. 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 Shoot.
Milk um, rice. Just sticky rice. And it's mm. cooked with milk and sweets. Like you put honey in there as well. Oh, that sounds good, and actually. And after that, it sounds like, like oatmeal. <laughs> sounds like oatmeal. Oh. It's, yeah, like oatmeal and puddingy. Ah. Because it's also it gets creamy after you freeze it. Yeah, it's not sounds not good. in the freezer, but you oh, put so it in a cool you, place. You eat it and cold. Oh. You eat it cold. You eat it cold. It's like pudding. I like pudding. Okay. I like pudding. So it's kind of similar to one of the <clears throat> dishes here in the Philippines called champorado. Oh, yes. What the is champorado that? Champorado <laughs> is uh, cooked with uh, cocoa powder instead. Cocoa powder. Mm, so it's chocolate. And it's usually eaten hot, but I prefer mine to be cold. I oh, eat it's like chocolate, chocolate rice. Yes. It's oh. like a chocolate version of suchlat. Suchlat. Oh, suchlat. It's nice too. Nice. Yes. <laughs> what? Because it's also cooked with sticky rice. Nice, yeah. Huh? It sounds good. Real sweet rice dishes. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a sweet dish here, rice dish in Japan. For sure. Yeah, pretty sure. I don't know. I yeah. can't. Think. Oh, wait, mo mochi. Mochi, right? Yeah, yeah mochi. True, mochi. <clears throat> mochi. Yeah. You won't believe me, but Germany actually likes, really, really likes Japanese cooking. Oh yeah. And just Japanese stuff because like the anime weep Japanese culture here is really big. Yeah. Um, there's even a city with mm -hmm. a Japanese like mini council. Oh. <laughs> and oh. Japanese like part of the city. Um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but like it's a big city, one of the main cities, and it ha one part of the city is only like Japanese culture and food and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of people like Asian food in general. We've got like a lot of Taiwanese, um, uh -huh. also Philippine um, food restaurants, oh. and of course Chinese as well. It's like America. So there's actually it's, there's actually more Asian food than freaking German food here. <laughs> so when you asked me like what my favorite German, German food, food was, is? I had to think about oh. what is German food. <laughs> we need to bring back the German food. No, please don't. It's bring fine it back. <laughs> What's a good it's fine one? This way. We Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, I like how there's some kind of similarity here as well when it comes to like from Germany. If Germany mm -hmm. has like a city that has full of you know Japan stuff, yeah. here in the Philippines we have a city that's full of Chinese stuff. And, oh really? Uh, yeah, and it's it, it's in Binondo, mm -hmm. and as far as I know, there's like lots of um food places there that are just you know full of Chinese food. I, I've never been there. I saw some pot, some photos as well, but yeah, it's, wow. it's basically like it's, it's basically the it's like Chinatown here in yeah in the Philippines, yeah. Binondo. Yeah, we have Chinatown in Los Angeles too, and Little Tokyo, and we got Little Manila, and Koreatown. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got all different kinds of towns. <laughs> Same America. for Germany. I heard, like, uh, I heard like in America, like it's very diverse there. Yeah, it's very diverse. It's like people from different walks of life and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. America. America. <laughs> America. Land of the hamburgers. What's a fucking kilometer? <laughs> What's a kilometer? What's a foot? <laughs> I don't know. My foot, I guess. We love America. We love our feet. <laughs> you get canceled. You exposed yourself. <laughs> American land of the feet and inches. <laughs> Did they use feet and in inches in the Philippines? Yeah. I oh, see. Philippines, I mean, land of the we feet. Got, uh, we also got conquered by America back then. So conquered. <laughs> We, we did? We yes. did? We, can't? We, be, we We were basically under the Spanish... Ah. Um, Spanish and then the Spanish had to sell us to the... I didn't know America <laughs> conquered the Philippines. Like, uh, as far as I know, as, uh, how our history goes, mm -hmm. we first got, in, we first got um, ruled by the Spanish. Oh. And then we got sold to the Americans. 
and mm-hmm. which by the way <laughs> which by the way was um so uh, the I think during the time during the time the Spanish uh-huh. told uh, the Americans told us that we're gonna be free but it's actually it's actually it's, it's a actually lie time to rule <laughs> to rule because <laughs> Because they they bought from Spanish and then Americas. and then boom and then boom Japanese came. American little <laughs> tricksters, Americans. <laughs> and then boom Japan, we brought the anime. <laughs> the the weep girls, the anime girls on the, the internet. Anime girls. Oh man, and the Philippines. And now look at us, look at yeah. us being anime girls on the internet. You included Rocky. Yeah, I'm an anime girl deep down <laughs> inside. <laughs> Deep no, down inside. stop! <laughs> I I'm heard using, that Ubu! I'm using a voice changer. I'm actually a cute anime girl, guys. Who would know? Yeah, I'm a cute anime girl. Rocky is Sailor Moon confirmed. Says. I'm Sailor Moon! Hi, <laughs> see. Look. Look, look, I, I'm a dude Sailor Moon transformation. Oh, no, 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 Sparkles, sparkles. Sparkles, sparkles. <laughs> I'm Sailor Moon now. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Sailor Moon? Where's it's Rocky? It's Rocky Moon. Where's, I don't see him Rocky anymore. Rocky Moon. Dude, that, that Sailor Moon transformation is too risque for six-year-old Rocky. <laughs> 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 it's too crazy. It awakened things inside me the first time I saw oh, it. Oh no. Oh no. I'm like, whoa. Girls are kind of neat. <laughs> They don't have cooties anymore? What? What? <laughs> the transformation sequence, man. That's too crazy for, for children. <laughs> Wait, now we're in the anime topic. Okay, anime talk. Uh, okay. Okay. We okay, go I'm away ready. from I'm ready. Anime. Yeah, what anime was your, you know, the very first anime you saw? It like, doesn't have to be the one that you finished the whole series hmm. first. Like, literally the first, the anime. first anime that you saw. Mm. Depends on what an, an anime is. I would say it's Mojako. Mojako? <laughs> Mojako. <laughs> it's like Doraemon. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not too sure, but I think I've heard. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's Mojako. It's the, the yeah, earliest so one old. I remember. Yeah, I'm old. So old. Dude, I'm old, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm 3,200 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, Mojako? I Mojako, yeah. That. It's a story about like a little ball alien guy, and then they travel on a spaceship to go to different um, places in the world to to look at cryptids or something like the Loch Ness monster and all that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. How about you, Putin? My very first anime, like very very first one, without even knowing what anime it was. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I watched a lot of, a lot of TV when I was a child. Uh-huh. I guess Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. Oh, is that the I... is that the the German girl? And this is the, the Alps. Yeah, exactly. And, and it looks like, like a little Hi- German girl. Oh yeah, it looks kind of like Hayao Miyazaki drew it and stuff. It's kind of like old school. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Heidi. Okay, this one, I, this one, I don't know. Dude, I'm old. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm way too young. <laughs> I'm old. Hey, remember when when you we used to spray like our hands into the caves? Guys, remember that? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like, what? We, we, we used to draw like buffaloes in the caves. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I did that. <laughs> I did that. I was the one who started it. Of course. <laughs> I'm so old. You're I'm not too, old. I'm like too a grandpa. old. You're 3, not old. Three thousand two hundred oh years God. old. I mean, like from the animes that you guys mentioned, because mm-hmm. like, the very first anime that I saw, and I saw this as well on the TV, it was already Detective Conan. Conan, oh, it's still ongoing. It's like the longest yeah. running anime, I think. Oh, no, no, but no, no. That's a Yeah, it's, but it's, it's pretty time, long. Because like, um, I got to watch it on Philippine TV, and uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just the anime that I first saw based on my memory. But as far as I rem, as far as I can like recall correctly, mm-hmm. 
a lot of animes are being shown on the Philippine TV back then, including Doraemon. But yeah. I think Doraemon is being showed at around um, 6 or 7 a.m. and I'm still asleep. So that's why Detective Conan <laughs> was the one I'm able to catch. <laughs> Dude, I like Detective Conan. The, the mysteries are pretty interesting. I yeah. never watched it, honestly. You never <laughs> I just watched saw it? it on the TV. It's so I good. Just saw it on the TV. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then what's your favorite anime of all time then? Oh. Huh? <laughs> that's a. Loaded question. question. Yeah. Okay, I'll, give, I'll give you three slots then. So give me your top three. Top so, three. So it'll be easier. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did it get harder? Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it makes it more difficult. <laughs> top okay. three. Okay, like, maybe I can go first. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay so actually. Uh, my top one would be Skate Dance. Skate Dance? Yeah, Skate Dance is like uh, it's like the same as Gintama, but mm -hmm. they're in school. It's a comedy. And I do, yeah, I do remember like uh, they had this one episode that they did a collab with Gintama. Oh, I like yeah. Gintama. Mm. So like uh, it's it's, it's my <laughs> favorite because it does have some kind of um, uh, memories as well with my mm -hmm. friends. Cause like we, uh, we were in grade school back then, and we used to like copy the characters, you know. Uh -huh. So yeah, I, I do have like a certain um me good memories with it. So yeah, it would definitely be my top one, Skat Dance. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my second would be uh, Shugo. Wait, I'm not sure. Shugo Chara. Yeah, Shugo Chara. Like, <gasps> Shugo Kara. Shugo Chara. Um, yeah. Chara. I don't know. Everybody says it's different. That it's was so cool. It's technically Shugo Kara. Kara. Yeah. yeah you get Kara? Character, right? Yeah, character. Yeah. So like, I guess. It, but, it's my like, top two. Like, that's the very first anime series that I was able to finish. Nice. And then for my top three. Does, a, does an anime movie count? Or are we talking about. Yeah, it movie? counts. It counts. Yeah. Okay, for for my top three would be Summer Wars. It's Summer a, it's Wars. Like it's a good one. I like yeah. that one. I like some. Yeah, those some are those are my top three. Mamoru Hosoda movies. Yeah. How about you, Puri Puri? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for your top three? I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. But <laughs> so, uh, but top three of all times, right? Yeah, of all time. Okay. That means I'm just gonna go like with my childhood yeah. nostalgic yeah. memories. Yeah. And the anime that got me like really going into anime was um Fairy Tale. Oh. Um Inuyasha was my top as well. Inuyasha solid. And because I was simping for Big Shot so just... men. Um <laughs> Utano Prince Sama. Prince Sama? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uta Pri, Uta no pri Prince Sama. Oh, I don't oh know that God. one. <laughs> not, Those not are. Prince, my... Not that Prince is mentioning her top three, I kind of regret not mentioning Oren <laughs> High School Host Club. Alright, oh, you no. want the reverse <laughs> oh, <no>. harem shows? <laughs> oh, oh, frick! Um, but I watched that after that. I watched mm. Uta no Prince Sama before that. Prince Sama. Yeah, I swear yeah. to God, I still have a body pillow of like. Oh. But you didn't hear that's from me. Uh, it's not. It's not, <laughs> it's not a sexual one. It's not a oh, sexual body one. Body pillow. How is the body pillow not sexual? <laughs> it's really not. It's really not. It's a family friendly body pillow. Okay. It's family friendly <laughs> body pillow. <laughs> My mom bought me that pillow when I was, when, oh, yeah. when I was like 14, so it's not sexual, don't worry. <laughs> it's just like a character Please, pillow. Family. I own your body, it's comfortable furniture. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That's nice. Those, yeah. My, uh, those are my top three. Yeah. What's yeah, yours? Respectable. Rockies. Um, yeah. Um, uh, first one has to be Anohana. Have you heard of Anohana? Oh, the tears, bro. Mm, yeah. I cried like I a cried. baby. I cried so much. It's probably the first time I cried that much watching a freaking cartoon. 
<laughs> but yeah. Uh, second, uh, if you don't know, Anohana is like the story of like this ghost girl who comes to visit this guy. And then they assemble their, their group together, their childhood friends together, but they're all different. They went through a lot of tough stuff after the ghost girl died. And so they have to figure it out together and stuff. So that's pretty nice. I, I, I could relate a lot to it since like, you know, like growing up, you kind of like move apart from your friends and you guys find like different interests and stuff. And, I, and it, it kind of like, it was very relatable at that time in my life. I, I watched it through like college and stuff. So, yeah. And my second one's got to be Mob Cycle 100 because that show is amazing. <laughs> oh, I still got to watch that. It's, yes, it's a masterpiece. It's great. I love it. Uh, Mob Psycho a story about this psychic boy and <clears throat> um, he just wants to be a normal boy and he just likes this crush at school and then he just wants to grow up to be normal and then he to control his psychic powers he goes to this guy Reagan he's not really a psychic but he tells him he is and he's more like a like a scam artist <laughs> but basically Reagan just like uses mob psychic powers to help people like Pay, so that people could pay him but then at the same time like mob still like learns a lot from reagan anyways because like he's actually a good mentor and i don't know i find that dynamic really wonderful now reagan's such a great character and um my third has to be um <clears throat> do we count manga or no <laughs> it's just anime I mean, no i just said i mean anime. we can we can count it yeah, I guess, just, like, if we're mm -hmm. counting manga, like, we're gonna move everything down, like, Anohana second, and then Mob Psycho's third, and my number one is Berserk. Ah, uh, Berserk. Mm. Yeah, Berserk. I, I can understand that. Yeah. Wait, doesn't Berserk have, uh, like, animation? Yeah, but it's anime sucks. <laughs> we oh, don't talk no, about no. it. Oh. <laughs> we Berserk talk 20, about that. Yeah, Berserk 2016 was terrible. Um, we're still waiting for, like, a good one. Yeah, Berserk oh, is number one. Good. Yeah. To me it's a it's a it's a story that really like touched me and i resonated with story about a guy who just like <clears throat> keeps on fighting despite living hard mode <laughs> you know <laughs> it's great yeah it's my top three or oh, that's a nice top three thank you i like it picasso thank you, thank 10 you. out of 10. thank you i like your top threes too i like the husbandos as well the husbandos, I was down bad, and I'm still down bad. I mean, I'm playing daily games, so... <laughs> Who's the number one husbando in the whole world? <laughs> oh, my God, oh my god, I have to decide? Yes, I will... and it has to be Rocky Raigeki, Lord of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mm, of course. <laughs> No, seriously. I have, my, I have my own top one. <laughs> yeah, who's your top okay, one? Okay, so tell me, tell me, what's your top one? My top and the one? people in chat too. Who's yeah, their top chat, one number? Number one has Bando. The guy. I only want to see Rocky there in the chat. <laughs> yeah, better be Rocky. Better be me. I'm the best. I like before you're gonna talk about husbandos. Cause like, mm. um... Uh, the thing is, um... My number one husband though isn't really from an anime, but from it's it's uh, he's from an otome game. Uh huh. And he is called uh, Mamon from Obey Me. Oh yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Mamon. Yes, <I'm> really <laughs> I voiced the character in that one, one game. Yeah, you did. I was the I was Asmodeus. You were, uh, you were Asmodeus in one of my streams. <laughs> Darling Rinoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's the demon of lust. What's, yeah. what's yeah, good? Mama. <laughs> but Mama is like a, a Mamon. Uh, it's like a Tsundere kind of guy. Ah. An idiot Tsundere. Yes, those are my type. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I see you. I see you. I see. Because <laughs> they're cute. Okay, yeah. understandable. Understandable. Who's your number one husbando, Puri Puri? My my number one husbando has to be, and he's always going to be, uh, Natsuki Shi Shinomiya um, from Utano Prince Sama. 
Oh, I don't know him. <laughs> oh, Nat oh, Natsuki. Okay. Natsuki. Natsuki is like a, a blonde guy yeah, with like one. um longer hair mm -hmm. and he has like glasses. Oh. What else? Green eyes? Green I eyes. Think. Green hair? Yeah, green eyes. Green no, eyes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> blonde hair. <laughs> green eyes and blonde hair. And uh -huh. he's like the tallest one out of them, I think. But oh. that's not what got me like into him. What got mm -hmm. me into him was... <laughs> I'm so down bad for him. Is that when you take his glasses off... Oh, yeah? He has like a bipolar... Um, like a oh. another personality. Oh. Oh. And that was so interesting to me as a kid. It's like so lunch from like... Dragon Ball. <laughs> like who? Like lunch from Dragon Ball. Hold on, I watched Dragon Ball, but oh. I don't know the characters. The original lunch. Dragon Ball, not the. She turns in like she she gets like different hair when she's mad, and <laughs> she becomes like someone different. Oh. Yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Yeah, or exactly that's cool. like that, to be honest. Like two um, and it's he's like, like Yugi. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Like Yugi. Natsuki is like, when he has his glasses on, he's called Natsuki. Mm -hmm. And he's like this tall guy who uh -huh. really likes cute stuff. Uh -huh. So he's more like childlike and uh, like has plushies, uh, likes to bake. Uh -huh. Although he get, the, can't bake, he's like poisoning everyone with oh, it, wow. and that's really funny. Um, and we, when someone takes his glasses off, uh -huh. uh, he can't see. Tatsuki. Uh. <laughs> he can't see. <laughs> no. New flash. He can't see. He can't see. And Whoa. <laughs> and he's called Satsuki. Satsuki. And wow. he's like this really buff guy who doesn't like anyone and talks with his <laughs> fists and so on. He's. <laughs> It just becomes Kazuma Kiryu without his glasses on. And I was smitten. And I was like, wow, that man has got my heart. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. So I like the crazy ones. I like the crazy ones. Crazy. It's pretty cool. Natsuki from, from the show with the glasses. Hmm. Freya says, too many has bundles to just pick one. Hey, you know who the top husbando is? <laughs> Rocky. You it are is our I. top husbando, yes. Bash Stampede? Z? Bash Stampede. Bash though? I can understand that. Bash is nice. Child? child. <laughs> Ooh, child. Oh, child. Child. So you like the crazy ones as well. <laughs> I, I knew he was the bad guy from the very start. I, he didn't fool me. I was like, you sus, I don't trust you. And then he, you know I what? He was the bad guy the whole time. <laughs> but the mysterious aura, like that really gets you. <laughs> Sebastian McAllis. Sebastian oh, from McAllis. Black Butler. Yeah, Black yeah. Butler. That's the best the, husband though is... <laughs> best husband though is freaking Roy Mustang. Ooh, Roy, Roy Mustang. Must Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. You that, don't know Roy Mustang? I know, I know oh, Roy Mustang. Roy Mustang. Best husband. Um, Next to Rocky. Roy, yeah, but, uh, Is he the bald guy? No, he's not the bald guy, okay? He's, he's not the bald guy. He's Roy Mustang. <laughs> but bald guy is close third. <laughs> Alex Luis Armstrong is the Chad, and you know it. He's very buff. So you like the uh, buff dude? Yeah, I want to be a buff dude. I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, let's go. You can working do it. On. I'll do it. I'll be so buff. I'll stay natty though. Stay natty. <laughs> yeah. What? <clears throat> what do you feel about... Huh? <laughs> What do the people say? Bruh, I'm skinny and want to be buff too. You can do it. You can do this it. Just eat a lot of protein. Yeah, eat a lot of protein and then work out with uh, yeah. the weight. Eat a lot. Something. Just eat a lot. <laughs> eat a lot and work out. You'll get there. What do you feel about girls who are buff, guys? I, li 
I oh, like girls who mommy, are Mommy, step on me. Yes. <laughs> mommy, step on me. I wanna be crushed between those thighs, mommy. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Very hot. Yes. Everyone gets it. Don't need to talk about it any further. <laughs> exactly. You know, that was so quick. I, I was like processing the question and you already were down bad. You were already like, take me. No. Please step on me. It's not a controversial opinion. <laughs> it's really not because... Mommy, take me right now, you know, but Rinwa, you were so quick to answer. Rinwa's like working out now. She's like, <laughs> like going to the gym every day. Yeah. Nah, I, I actually like, I actually want to stay with how I am right now. Ah. Yeah, I, I do, I do like, uh, I do like, um, you know, buff women, women. Uh -huh. For, but if it if it comes to like myself, I, I think mm -hmm. I'm okay being, you know. On some, the side. There's some ladies that are scared to go to the gym because they don't want to be buff. Like, oh, like but they're like, oh, like I, you yeah. invite them to go to like the gym and stuff. Like, hey, you want to go? Yeah. They're like, no, I, I don't really want to get muscles. <laughs> you know, but I, you can't get that buff on accident. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work like that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, also yeah. because they think like femininity uh -huh. is um, linked to being very slender uh, and yeah. not that buff. But that's not true. You mm -hmm. can your femininity isn't defined like by your yeah. body type or that's like true. how much muscles you gain or you something. But pe people still think that, and that's mm -hmm. not that good because being buff is like really cool. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Buff is beautiful. I think it it would also like stem from how the cultures are, mm -hmm. like here how the, the beauty standards are. Yeah, the beauty standards and also the culture in mm -hmm. some countries. Because like here in the Philippines, um, there's this called like uh, we got so used to the um culture called Maria Clara and uh, Maria Clara. Like people are expecting women here in the Philippines to be you know slender and not too loud. Mm -hmm. Like Maria Clara is like um, portraying a woman that is so like typical Japanese lady, <laughs> yeah, soft-spoken, soft-hearted. And if you're uh -huh. not like that, you're basically just you know not not a woman in terms of the uh. standards here. But uh, so far, I think it's it's going pretty well that they're they're starting to embrace you know other other you know other kinds of women because like the the Maria Clara thingy dates like way way back mm -hmm. but like around 19 maybe even in the 18 1800s it was, it was a long time ago but because of how conservative the people here are here mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's kind of I sad see. yeah it's actually yeah sad. it's actually That's... hard for me to like you know be comfortable with my body type as well because you know, i'm i'm on the chubby side oh yeah. you're doing yeah. great yeah, this be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm but... very proud of you that you learn to love yourself and just yeah. like, be yourself because that's awesome. That's right. It's awesome. That's all. That's a reminder for all of the people watching as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you don't love yourself, we're gonna break through your wall and then bite. You <laughs> lovingly. So you lovingly, love bite. <laughs> lovingly. <laughs> lovingly bite you. Yes. Um so I I heard you graduated recently, Rinwa. Like um not not graduate like VTubing, <laughs> like graduate as in like school. Is yeah. it a huge relief off your shoulder? Wow. Yeah, I graduated. Congratulations by the way. Yay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Congratulations! I am now unemployed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the next step in life. Let's go. <laughs> One step at a time. There, there's something like it's hard in America. Like when you graduate, it's very hard because you get all this debt. And if you don't, like. Oh, uh, the student loans, right? Yeah, student loans. And then what happens is like it, it builds on and builds on as you while you don't have a job. And when you do finally get a job, they'll, they'll instantly like, re like charge you. <laughs> they start charging as soon as you get a job. 
So like it, it get it puts like students in a bind. They're like, oh, I do want to get a job, but as soon as I get one, then I have to pay my student loans. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, my well, said good luck in finding a job that would pay well. Thank you, thank you. I'm actually nice. job hunting right now. Nice. What kind of job do you want? Um, I'll definitely work in like maybe I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You'll it's find okay. something. Yeah, you'll Just find, find yeah, something that you like. You love, yeah. I do. I I I am a degree holder for computer science, so. Oh, nice. I'm trying. I'm trying to look for a job that's kind of related to it, but. I am actually aiming to be like a graphic designer as well, or yeah. a website designer. Web, web designer, there you go. Well, nice. then you could also work remote, like from mm -hmm. home. Oh, I'd like to move out. I'd like to move out. <laughs> yeah. But if you were to move out to like a different country, where do you want to go? Oh, in a different country? Yeah, you want, like, oh wait, you just move out like out of the house? Like, is that what you meant? Well, as of now, I'm I I feel like I can't move out from the country, so I might just you know move out from the province because I'm located in the province ah, of the Philippines. I, yeah, so, I, I misunderstood. My bad. I thought you meant like move gonna, out. But I do have plans on moving out of the Philippines as well. Okay. <laughs> I it, it, to say what's that. your What's your dream country that you want to go to? Like, if you want to move out eventually. Um, depends, cause like. I feel like I, uh, I want it to be somewhere my partner would agree going uh, to as well. But it, if my partner doesn't like to go like really really far, maybe we can go to Singapore. Singapore. Like, if, if 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 he's if he's okay with going far, mm -hmm. I wanna go to Sweden. 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 That's nice. Would be Sweden. nice. Yeah. Have you been to Sweden? Mm. I, uh, have you been to Sweden? No. I have, no I've been yet. to IKEA. <laughs> You've been to IKEA. Oh, that's the whole experience, Rocky. That's the whole experience. You got that's it. The, that's basically it, right? I don't know. You're why, sure? Why, why Sweden? Judah Ch Pie Swedish. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's because uh, I did see some photos from uh -huh. my friend. Because my friend of mine uh, moved to Sweden at around. I think yeah. we were in high school uh -huh. and she sent me pictures of her adventures and i feel like well i feel like it's good to move there as well if, yeah. if, if we can't move to sweden then we'll just go to canada canada oh mm. why not, not america why not uh, america huh? no you I, I, I'm, aiming for the, I'm aiming for the free healthcare <laughs> the free healthcare only canadians can get free healthcare you have to be canadian <laughs> i mean we can I mean, there's like a stuff for like Canadian. What do you call this? Oh, you're gonna um, get, you're gonna get Canadian citizenship. citizenship? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. And you get Canadian healthcare. Nice. <laughs> I want the free healthcare. The healthcare we did in the Philippines is so. <laughs> but America got we we have the bald eagles, and the freedom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no no no! America is something for. Oh, that's a lie. You're living in an illusion. Freedom. <laughs> No, they're all living in an illusion. Oh, I we swear got, to God. They got fireworks and hot dogs and football. That's great. <laughs> and Bowl. you got free. <laughs> we got Super Bowl. We got guns. Oh, no. oh wow. That sounds guns. like a really great, great place yeah. to live. Freedom. Guns. America. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about America. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's okay to go to America for like you know trips. So um, well, what's there to see? Graffiti on 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 a trash oh, I, can. I actually, no, I actually want to go to like um, New uh, York. You're gonna see the, the the Freedom Lady, Statue of Liberty, Grand Canyon. I mean, huh? yeah. I mean, sure. Oh, wait, I forgot which place is it. No, I actually just want to go to like California. California, like, our, that's where I'm from. Is in, oh, really? Some of my family is California. In, uh, California. So you could see the Hollywood sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what well, else? Actually, I want to travel because of food. Oh yes, food. We got good food in California. We got good Mexican food. 
Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. California. But, but to stay in America? To yeah, live in oh. America? No. No, no, no. No, no. no. Um, everything's expensive. I remember my, my one bedroom apartment was $1,700 a month. In Japan. That's a lot. Well, that's a lot. In Japan, same apartment around the same size. 300 bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're never, different, so yeah, yeah I never, difference. never want to move back. <laughs> it's the red. The red kills it. I don't. The, the red. The red like I'm. I would love in. I would love to go back to America, like see my friends again and stuff. But the rent is way too high. People were memeing that guy, the guy who ran for president, the the one that the one that went. Oh, rent is too damn high. Remember that guy? <laughs> but he was oh, right. He was right the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we should have voted for that man. You should have voted. He's the man we deserved. <laughs> the man we loved. The man we deserved. And the man the, we did The man we get. needed, but we didn't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. I'm so happy that you're gonna um, have like new experiences. Or that you're gonna, um, well... How do you say? Well, I'm just gonna say get new experiences in uh, your life, Jinwa. Because there's like a lot of go going on now. You gotta get a new job and you have to decide, okay, do I want to stay here or do I want to like live somewhere else? Where can I go travel? Where do I want to travel? And so on. It's really yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. It is pretty, it's pretty exciting, but I'm gonna focus on, you know, being financially stable as well. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Most of my decisions aren't just for me now, since since I do have a partner now. So. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's good. Partners. Partners. <laughs> Rocky, yes. don't be so sad now. <laughs> well, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I'm happy for Rinoa. Rinoa, I'm happy for you. It's great. Thank you, but Rocky... <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Your voice just sounds kind of sad when you I'm said not sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. What are you talking about? Chad heard that as well. I swear to God, Chad. So I'm not him? sad. Didn't you hear his voice? I mean, I'm not sad when he said that. Right You're imagining things. <laughs> You're mad. You? What are you talking are about? We? I'm happy. Look, I'm smiling. Look. <laughs> 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 you can just feel Look at me! I'm smiling. From the way he sounds. I'm smiling, partners. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll find one soon. Don't worry. Okay, it's fine. You don't have to, by the way. You hmm? don't have to, by the way. We yeah, don't have, have to. to. That's don't right. Want... We don't have to. I got, I got dark souls and chips. <laughs> 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 the true love of every gamer. Do you have a partner, hamster girl? No, I do no? not. Yes, single I and free. Mm -hmm. We have dark souls and chips. It's fine. No need to worry. You too, no chat. Need. No need to be sad. <laughs> what do you mean you have? Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Bringing the logic and reason back to chat <laughs> yeah so what's it like having a partner huh you live together <laughs> you got <laughs> what you you have... partner, it's asking how is it with the partner i, I can like, you're too I feel, funny i feel like i'll feel bad if i answer the wrong <laughs> it's just like mm. How's, how's it like huh, sharing the ice cream together? Like, here, babe, have some ice cream. How's it feel? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't worry. Are you, though? I'm not, yes. I'm not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the funniest shock it, therapy man. episode. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the... you're not laughing all the time, like, um, 
<laughs> and just interrupting, interrupting the chat. <laughs> Rocky sounds. I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm sweet. Like like a cupcake. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like there's like bitter melon growing behind Rocky. Right no, now. you're imagining things. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> wait, I, wait, I saw the chat right now. How many kids will you guys have? How many kids? Like for a, it's like, is this like a question for like everybody in case like you know kids you find a partner in the future? Oh, how many kids will you guys have? <laughs> how many kids will you guys have, Rinwa? Um, I think I'm good with two to three kids. Two to three? Mm -hmm. but, uh, let me ask Mark to elaborate here, elaborate a little bit. What do you mean, you guys? <laughs> just... I mean, like, uh, about you guys, like, in the future, do you guys plan on having kids or...? Mm. Yeah, I want kids in the future. Little thunder gods. No thunder gods. Little thunder gods. <laughs> kids are cute. They're like running around, playing. Hmm. <clears throat> For me, um, mm -hmm. I not really like the type that thinks too far ahead into the future. Mm -hmm. Because for me, the most important thing is like to stay into in the present. To That's think about right. right now. What do I want to do yeah. right now? What, where do I want to be right now? And the thing is, uh, when you were in your 20s, mm -hmm. <laughs> in my last stream, we also talked about this. It's kind of funny. In my, in the, when you're in your 20s, mm -hmm. the most important thing is really getting to know yourself. Like, what That's are your true. ambitions? What are you passionate about? What do you want to do? Yeah. And like, just do the stuff that you want to do. And I think that by the time that you're like in your 30s, that's oh. the time when you really got to know yourself. Like oh. really truthfully got to know yourself, got all the things done that you wanted. Um, but not as in like that you'd never do new things again, but just that you get to know yourself really well. And that's when you can think about like, having a partner full time and maybe like think about hmm, do I want to do I want to have kids am I ready for kids am I emotionally stable for kids like oh, if, is that really the thing that I want and that's why I my... haven't talked about thought about that yeah the 30s you think about those things what mm, about I in your 3000s <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have like little 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 thunder gods running around? It's too now? late. I'm three thousand years old. Three thousand two hundred. Too late now. It's too Better late. Start never. I'm over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Mm. Yeah. Life, huh? As of as of right now, I uh -huh. wouldn't even think about having kids because as myself, I know mm -hmm. that I'm not emotionally stable yet mm -hmm. like to really have kids because there's still like a lot of mm, trauma that you have to get through and uh -huh. behavior that you need to see that you have from that, for example, childhood trauma. trauma. <laughs> uh -huh. And only if I really um, get through these things and like see what kind of bad behavior I still have from my childhood then I would think about having kids because I don't ever want to give my kids like generational trauma trauma uh, or anything yeah, that's, it. that's true you know, it's a good way to look at like, it an, an end to it yeah well when, when it comes to me like uh when it comes to me uh, I'm also in my 20s but the thing is, I just really love raising children because like, yeah. I've been, I've, I've had experiences because of, um, actually there's like a generation gap between me and my some of my cousins, and uh, there were times that I get to babysit their children, you know, mm -hmm. and like that made me want to have my own kids in the future as well. But at the back of my head, I always remind myself that I need, I will, I will have kids. And I am already stable and emotionally stable and as well as financially stable. 
Mm-hmm. We need we need the money because you know raising a kid is isn't just yeah. You also need to provide. That's yeah. true. Totally <laughs> understandable. Yeah, that's why as I yeah I it, I do want to have kids, but not right now. <laughs> not yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's the same. Like it's true. Like you need to be financially stable and and all that, but. Like if if you think about like the ideal situation when you do get to that point, um, I think I w- I do want kids when I when I yeah. do get to that point where it's everything's stable, everything's good. Same. You know? Same. <clears throat> yeah. But there's also like um, I don't really want kids of my own. Mm-hmm. But I want to adopt. Some adopt. Oh. Adopting is good. There's so many like children without loving families, um, and that's really sad to see. And that's a good. Point. I don't like the world <sighs> we're living right in right now, mm-hmm. like how the system works and how people grow apart because of different um, cultures or mm-hmm. misunderstandings of each other and prejudice. That I don't mm-hmm. really want new. <laughs> uh, to bring to bring new people to bring new people in uh-huh, because it's kind of fucked up like the climate change and so on and yeah, going on. It's a good point. This is kind of uh, serious. I'm sorry if it's too serious, but oh, we, we've had serious conversations here at the Shock yeah. Therapy podcast before. Yeah, but okay. let me ask you this question then about the, the adoption. Like some some kids, when you adopt them, they'll they'll try to look for their real parents. Like they'll have like genetic tests and all that. Like how would you mm-hmm. feel if they try to do that? That's totally understandable. Every totally. human being can like decide for themselves what is wrong and what is right for themselves. Mm-hmm. Children do need guidance. It's not like that I would just leave a child guideless mm-hmm. and uh, just let him decide fully for himself. But um, there, his like opinion and needs and wantings to maybe find his real parents are mm-hmm. still important. So we would talk yeah. about it together, about like the consequences, what would happen, mm-hmm. and I would just guide that child through his experience. That's mm, what's see. most important for me. Yeah, it's a good answer. Yeah, you're really mature for a twenty-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like that answer. Mark said I would help them find their real, their real parents. parents. Yeah. yeah. Be a detective. Can be a detective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop around yeah. and find out. I, oh, there's like something like wonderful about like you know, like being being a father, it feels like, you know? Like yeah. You watch like spy family and stuff and you see like <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know, like like, I think there's something inherent and in, like in every like human being that at some point you you would want to be a parent and to guide this this life, um, this new person into the into the world and like kind of like introduce them to your, like your values, you know, but like help them find mm-hmm. theirs too, you know, like yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's like there's also a saying that you get to understand your parents once you become a parent yourself. Oh yeah, I heard that from my parents. <laughs> Same. Yeah. I heard that too, but always yeah. in the wrong kind of situation. Yeah. Always yeah. when I like <laughs> fucked something up, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, "Mom, you don't understand me," and she's like, "You will know how it feels like when you get to yeah. be a parent." <laughs> Cause like when you're a kid, you kind of like, oh, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a better dad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yell at my kids. I'm gonna do this and that. But then like when when you're thrust into that situation, right? Like, what would you do? Like, if your kid's acting really bratty, you're like, oh, like I I really don't want to like, like disciplining kids is awkward. Like no matter. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, it's that's very. Why... But you have to do it. Right? Yeah, I understand <laughs> that, but that's why you need to get like more mature yourself because mm-hmm. the, I fully understand when a parent is too overwhelmed with their own feelings that they yeah. like lash out at their kid. That's it's understandable, true. but that's not the right thing. It's still not mm-hmm. the right thing. You shouldn't really do that because 
a child doesn't learn by fear and anger a child learns by like acceptance and love 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 itself you know um, <laughs> that's true yes so before that's why we should get more mature mm -hmm. first and more right. stable ourselves so we don't make the same mistakes that's very important yeah, so how, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. But like at some sometimes though, like I've worked with children in one of my jobs before, and like at some points, like kids <laughs> could get really like really rowdy, you know? Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> like there's like nothing you can do. Like you're chat. Hey, can you stop that, please? Please, <laughs> can, can you not do that? And they'll keep doing it. <laughs> that reminds me. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Oh, first, uh, Rima, we'll go first. Say, like, uh, this whole conversation with kids and the, mm -hmm. uh, being emotionally stable and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like this reminds me of one one uh, show segment here in the Philippines, and mm -hmm. I'm not. Too, I'm pretty sure it's it, uh, it's not allowed to be shown here on stream because of copyright. But if you guys are interested to watch, it, I'll drop the link on the chat. Okay. Is oh, it wait, in English? I'm not, oh, wait, I'm not, let, I'm not, uh, no, <laughs> I'm let me show it. I, 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 I sent it on the Discord. And it's it's in English. Yeah, because... Uh... Okay. okay then might, yeah. Then I might look into that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at it whole, later. Let me put it in chat. The whole thing with the children that you just said, um, mm -hmm. lashing out at children and not knowing really how to interact, uh, like... Mm, react mm -hmm. to their actions reminds me of yesterday oh, oh yeah. my gosh guys i was cosplaying with my friend in the park mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we just meet up and have like our little, little cosplays on and we're just chilling in the park we're having mm -hmm. a picnic and t i never had this happen to me not once in my whole cosplay mm -hmm. mm, <laughs> life <laughs> to yeah. play um Two cosplay little career. children, cosplay career. <laughs> um, two little children. They were like maybe 12, 13, or fourteen. Mm -hmm. They, I think they stalked us because they had a water balloon ready, oh my gosh. and they just threw us. Oh like my we didn't gosh. even know that they were behind us like behind the trees we were just chilling mm -hmm. like at the park we had the picnic my friend was having some kind of issues with her um like migraine and oh, yeah. she had to sit down and i was like no worries chill if you want you can also like sleep a little i'm just here i'm like don't worry about it i'm at your side mm -hmm. and then like in an instant we felt like a big <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then water all over us, and we were oh. like, "What is oh, going on?" No. I looked like behind me, and I saw those two little children, those boys, oh, um, just running gosh. away and like bickering and I don't know, laughing. And I was yeah. so mad. I was like, oh, "What is gosh. this behavior? Why do they yeah. just come up to us and throw throw us with some water uh, balloons?" Yeah, uh, and why? kids, like, man. I didn't uh, yeah, <laughs> in those situations, I get really mad. I was like, "What is going on right now?" Like it's it's sometimes you would think about those kids, and you're like, "Oh, when I get kids, they won't be like that. They're gonna be proper, <laughs> mature children." But then I feel like when you get there, when you get to that point, you'll realize that maybe things won't always go your way, and maybe they will get bratty. <laughs> You know, and that's like the my worst fear, you know, when you think about like parenthood. Like what mm -hmm. if my kids are terrible? And what if I tried my best like to to do everything right? You know, like like do everything according to like, you know, a decent person, a decent parent would do. And they still end up bratty. Like what do you do? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's why you just have to like trust yourself with the decisions that you make you yeah. don't you won't ever know if the right. things like the, the energy that you put into parenting and um like that, having I, i've had to teach like these behavior. friends these friends yeah. they're so strict with their kids they never like let them play video games they never like watch them let, let, let them watch like violent movies and they like they're very strict and their kids are still bratty <laughs> <laughs> they're still bratty 
and it's crazy like what do you do like when it's like that like may maybe they are bratty because of that probably like they're so probably. strict that they they like to lash out like when oh. the parents aren't looking you know the thing is mm, social media and like the internet itself and like video games aren't a problem with children being too bratty but uh -huh. the thing is that um oftentimes children aren't like taught how to really get through their feelings how to um, solve them uh. and express themselves mm -hmm. that's the whole problem here so that's, that's why we have like bad bad behavior or extreme behavior like m bullying people or yeah. just throwing water at them i guess or being like really bratty because the child doesn't really know how to express themselves or know how to feel uh, or what they feel like how would they know that i see yeah it's all it's so complicated that's why it's i'm really not ready i'm not ready yet to be honest yeah. but i want I mean, to it's a human being be. it's normal that it's mm -hmm. complicated zed said we got a way to discipline here. We use the chinelas. It's a slipper. It's a it's slipper. A, slipper. <laughs> a flip flop. The chinelas. The, the Mexican households, they say the chanclas. <laughs> I, all, I also know that from my household. Oh, yeah, the belt. Was... Do you get the belt? No, not the belt. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> well, actually, hey. the belt is common here. The, the belt, the, belt. Clo uh, the, the clothes hanger thingy. Yeah, they, they use that to spank our butts. <laughs> I'll never use the belt on my kids. I'll be no. I, I'll be like the belt is just for pants, kids. <laughs> it's our pants. It's for holding your pants up. It's How for holding the pants <laughs> up. Don't be scared. It's just for holding the pants up. <laughs> The belt hanger experience the, the hanger? hanger. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, in my it's, household, it's, it's, it's not those items, it's the wadi stambo. The tambo? What? What is What's tambo? that? Is, uh, a broom, a broom. Oh, the broom. <laughs> oh, broom? holy heck, that's like medieval <laughs> stuff going on there. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> medieval stuff, that's gnarly. <laughs> Yeah. At my place, it was always like pepper paste, like yeah. spicy pepper oh. paste put on our mouth Some because we were talking stuff. shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I I remember like my parents used to do the like the discipline stuff with the, the like hitting, but then they started like they learned about American culture. They got they got kind of smart. They're like, oh, we're not gonna hit you. We're gonna ground you. And I'm like, oh gosh. Gonna ground you. That's no. worse. <laughs> That's ten times worse. Please. Please, mom, just hit me. I want to play my Xbox. <laughs> hit me one time, but please don't take my anime waifus from me. I hated There's it. There's also like a punishment here in the Philippines. I'm not sure if it's done in other countries, though. Uh -huh. Maybe in some of the Southeast Asian countries, yes. Um, you guys know what mung beans is? Mung beans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the mm -hmm. uncooked ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. They put it on the... They put it like on a flat surface, like the floor. And mm -hmm. then they make their children kneel on it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my, that sounds really painful. That yeah, it's dense. Painful. That's so it's a good way to make mung bean mochi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy heck. Oh, they come up with really gnarly torture punishments. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse is that song would make them um, carry something heavy as well. A song? With their two hands. While uh, they're kneeling down on the mountain. Oh my mountain. gosh. It's like kung fu training. <laughs> <laughs> like a Shaolin you temple. You gotta cleanse your mind. So. <laughs> Endure the pain, young one. And you shall become strong. <laughs> Stronger knees. <laughs> Cherish the mung bean the inside. <laughs> you too will the become mung. like the mung bean. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Reliving childhood traumas, eh? 
<laughs> That's what we do here in shock therapy. <laughs> we talk about trauma. More, uh, oh. Shock therapy. We're all shocked by this. Shock therapy. This is part of the therapy. <laughs> uh, Rocky Rageki is not a licensed therapist. <laughs> We are just here relieving our childhood traumas. We're not really doing therapies either. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I chose shock therapy. I probably it's probably a bad name. <laughs> it's no, been, it's like, Ooh. I think it's really creative. I thought so too at first, but then people think it's a therapy session. They're like, oh, maybe this you shouldn't therapy? have called it therapy. Yeah, maybe yeah, therapy. more like shock. shock but I I just looked podcast. up online like, oh, what's a good what's a good podcast name about like lightning and they're like oh how about shock therapy it's like oh, okay, I'm just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yo icy what the heck what's icy say uh I put in a sack <laughs> oh god oh what, <laughs> what? it's for real <laughs> dang asian parents am i right <laughs> i just got groundings and i thought they were really bad because i couldn't play my xbox for a month. Zeet says same. You were- Why were you all put in a sack and then hung on a tree? That sounds like something what that happens when a bloodborne enemy gets you. <laughs> Asian provinces, the, the only- The only worst thing that I experienced was getting locked. In locked? Our, uh, locked in our bathroom with no lights and I was so afraid of the dark. Oh my gosh, that's kind of oh, no. cruel. That's, uh, I mean, compared to what they experienced though, uh -huh. being in a sack, locked in the like, bathroom, it's like a very close space, and then you're being hanged as well on a tree. Oh my gosh, yeah, that I mean, is worse. In the bathroom, like I have a wide space. Looking at all this in the American eyes, I'm like, this is medieval. <laughs> What's going on in the in the Philippines? That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys. No, no, we're. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we had such a great time today talking to these lovely ladies. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And I hope you guys enjoyed our little talk sessions with Rinwa and Puddy Pudding. And yeah, it was it was great. Um, I did enjoy talking to you girls. Um, sorry about the freaking thing that happened in the middle. The scuff that didn't uh, happen. The scuff that no didn't one happen. Oh my god! I don't know how but I'm gonna fix gone. that. I'm gonna like, I, like staple together two videos. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Let's see. Who, uh, any last words, guys? Before we go. Any Thanks for having me. No problem. You guys are always welcome to the Shock Therapy Podcast. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Me too. It's yeah, really fun. It was really nice knowing more about uh, Germany as well. Early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ever want to know more, hit me up. I yeah. can always talk. I wish I could watch more uh, Pudding Pudding's videos, but I'm usually at work when she's streaming. That's usually the Aww. case for most people. But yeah, check them out, guys. Pudding Pudding and Rin Waffles. Um, they're great content creators. Uh, let's see what we can raid here. Uh, how about we raid uh, my good friend Walkstein. Walkstein is playing Elden Ring. And raid... Oh. Walkstein is a, a Philippine tuber who is in Japan. Um, let's check him out. Okay. Uh, and that's it for today's shock therapy. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. 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 There ain't showing up. Wait, where? There you go. All oh, right. There you go. There's okay. one. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.